There was a study done of 35,000 women over a four year period. And the researchers found that women who ate a processed high carb diet, which is a lot of the standard American diet, unfortunately, started their menopause journey a year and a half before those women that ate a diet rich in vitamins and nutrients in their vegetables and fruits, and they ate a lot of fish. Now these researchers speculated, well, it's probably this processed high carb diet that's the problem, that make you insulin resistant. And this insulin resistance means that your body has to produce more insulin in order for it to take that sugar that it got out of the blood and push it into the cells for energy. It also stops us from breaking down fat tissue, which means we're gonna have more fat. So when we eat all those refined sugars and carbohydrates and fast food, it's a big no-no. We are becoming insulin resistant and therefore gaining weight. <laughs> no fun. But the Galveston diet is here to help you. It is here as guidelines for you to help teach you how to eat for this menopausal journey that your body is going through. This is why we need to have some of our favorite meals made over. Now I tell you, when I hear the word gluten-free diet, um, keto, um, even Galveston, I think, uh-oh, if I can't eat my pizza, how am I gonna live? And on the Galveston diet, you know, the doctor that wrote the book, she says, if you could eat this way most of the time, you'd be set. And that's the point. This is 100% balls to the wall. So yeah, maybe once a month, every other month, I'm gonna indulge in my big old slice of New York style pizza that takes two paper plates to hold. But I need pizza more in my life. And that is why I went through all of the recipes. I tried the keto recipes that were the cauliflower crust full of cheese. I found that gross. I was like, well, why would I want cheese on top of cheese? It just didn't make sense. And that's a lot of saturated fat that I don't need in my diet. So I didn't like those. I tried the frozen pizza crusts and um, already made up frozen cauliflower pizza crust that had the cheese and all that at the grocery store. Too high of carbs, don't taste good, and I found a perfect, easy solution for us. Our secret weapon are these. Now these are from Aldi. I think they're delicious, and I found that this is a great go-to crust. Far better than that super cheesy rice cauliflower crust um, that just cheese upon cheese is just cheese to me. So that's not gonna work. So this works perfectly and holds up well with the heavy cheese on it. Okay, so let's get our crust out. Oh, I only have one left. This is so simple. If you have your secret weapon, it is simple. This is just actually just spaghetti sauce. I tend to have that more and I didn't, don't want to always be making my sauce from scratch. So this is my lazy sauce. Just had a little spaghetti sauce. My half a cup of cheese. And then I'm going to be cooking this in my air fryer. That's why it's on this metal grate. I have a um, air fryer that's also a like a stove that fits a 9 by 13 pan. You're like, oh, that doesn't look like enough cheese. It's going to bleed me. And then we are using our boar's head um, pepperoni. And that is because boar's head has less saturated fat and less salt. Still some preservatives in there. I have not found a pepperoni that has preservative-free preservative yet, so I need to find one of those because, you know, part of our anti-inflammation anti diet is no 
preservatives or to avoid them. So I'm still working on that. Okay, and our pepperoni pizza, in the oven it goes. Look at that beauty. Nice crisp crust, blended, perfect. Okay, so now that it's cooled, it, it still flops a little. I usually just fold it up like a taco. Mmm, oh, I'm dripping a little juice. Amazing. Eating this whole pizza is 10 net carbs, 20 grams of fat, and 34 grams of protein. A Sabaro pizza has 52 carbs, 20 fat, and 20 protein choose this instead. Your body will love it. And how about with that pizza? A delicious, easy spinach salad. No cutting involved. It's just spinach with hemp hearts and pumpkin seeds, olive oil, salt, pepper, and a little lemon drizzled on it. Get that veg in with your deliciousness. You need both. Food matters. It matters. It is medicine to our bodies. We have got to start treating our bodies with kindness and feeding ourselves medicine. You can change your body. I had terrible hot flashes. I would have seven a night and they'd keep me up. It was horrible. But you know what? I don't have it anymore because of food and herbs that I don't need to go to those other routes. But if you need to, go for it because there is nothing worse than severe hot flashes. Nothing. Well, I don't want to say that, but you get what I mean in the menopause world. So ladies, tell me where you're at. Tell me what foods you're missing that you would love a meal makeover. Tell me, are you perimenopause, postmenopause, where are you and what are you struggling with? We can go through this journey together and laugh and cry and get through it all and enjoy the next 30 years of our lives in a healthy, amazing lifestyle. If you wanna buy the Galveston Diet book, it's in the link below, please do.